Good day everyone and welcome to Home at the Hollow. My name is Glennis and welcome to my kitchen. I want to thank y'all so so much for joining me today. Today's recipe is my take on a humble upside down cake and this is a blackberry upside down cake. Very easy, very simple and I know this is going to be delicious. If this is a recipe that you're interested in and I always hope that you are and I hope you keep watching. Starting with a quarter of a cup of butter, salted, unsalted. For me, in this recipe, it makes no difference. I'm gonna just whip it just a little bit. Not a lot of butter. This is just a super, super simple. I'm gonna add my granulated sugar. And I'm going to pause this and uh, get this mixed up. I think I've gotten it as far as I've, I can get it. Um, we are having a little bit of a cold spell, and even though I set the butter out, it's just not as soft as I want it to, but you know what? This is going to be fine anyway. I'm going to add in three room temperature eggs and see if I can get these incorporated well. I finally gotten this relatively smooth and creamy. I've got a combination, my leavening agent here. I'm gonna just add it in my cake flour. This is one and a half cups of cake flour. We're gonna just give it a give it a whirl here. If you feel better, if you need to sift it, you do you, but I think we're gonna be okay. I've got my cake flour. I'm going to add, I think, just a like a half a teaspoon of almond extract. I'm going to add just, you know, maybe a third of the cake flour. And I absolutely do believe on beginning and ending with flour, in this particular instance anyway. I'm going to add just a, you know, a third of this maybe, buttermilk, you know, <laughs> I can tell you here lately, I don't know where y'all all are, but every time I go shopping, there is not buttermilk. I don't know what the mystery is, so I put uh, my, my whole milk in here and I added a couple of tablespoons of vinegar. That's, you know, the best that I could do. A little more flour. I don't want to beat this too hard. And of course, I'm getting it all over me, and that's all right. I mean, it's part of the fun of working in the kitchen. The rest of my buttermilk. And then I'm going to end with the flour cake flour. And if you don't have cake flour, don't panic. I will put, you know, just like with, with the buttermilk, uh, I'll put in what I usually do. If I don't have cake flour, I typically do. But if you don't, don't panic. As long as you have cornstarch and flour, you're good. <laughs> and that should be should be okay. I'm gonna just set this over here and let's see how this looks. And scrape whatever you have left and that looks, you know, not bad. I've got two thirds of a cup of sliced almonds right in there and just really just fold this in 
your batter and you don't want to beat this in your batter. And that took, gosh, all of what, you know, 10 minutes or something to put a, a batter together that you know what's actually in it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the stove top and get started on this. And y'all excuse the noise, but you know when I've got my oven on, the fan is going to run in. I'm sure, well, no, I'm not sure, <laughs> but there may be a way of bypassing that, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. I've got a quarter of a cup of butter in my pan here, and I'm just gonna get this melted. I've got my lightly packed, you don't wanna, you know, go crazy with it. My lightly packed brown sugar. And I'm going to make a mess first, <laughs> but um, I'm going to get this butter melted and get this mixed in my brown sugar. I've got my butter melted, looking really good, and my brown sugar is looking pretty good. I'm going to take my blackberries. Just sprinkle them around. I'm, I may have to cut back a little bit on my batter because I'm not really quite sure this skillet is large enough. I did taste this batter. I know, I'm so bad. But really with only half a teaspoon of almond extract in here is plenty. And I'm just gonna pour this right over. Sorry, sorry y'all. <laughs> I think I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just take a chance. I'm just gonna go for it. I mean, you know, live and learn, right? And as soon as my buzzer happens that is telling me I'm up to 350, I'm gonna place this right in here. I'm gonna put it on the cookie sheet first because you know, <laughs> I'm really not quite sure this isn't going to just boil over, but um, uh, 350, I'm going to start checking and using a skewer and test for doneness at 40 minutes. As y'all can probably still hear my oven, although I've just turned it off, my fan is still running, but as you can see, yes, I did make a mess. In hindsight, I should have put it in like an eight by eight, you know, square pan, but hey, that's okay. I've tested it and it's tested okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow this to set for half an hour before I turn it out. My 30 minutes is up. I've got a plate ready and this is as cool I, I can handle the handle yeah it's still pretty hot <laughs> um what i have done i've looked and this is actually it never stuck to the side which oh, i'm so thankful for but I, you know i kind of just want to check and i think we're good there i think we're gonna do this <laughs> let's see if we can if this is going to ow yikes that's definitely warm <laughs> It's just, okay, come on. And there we go. Whoops, I <laughs> almost lost it. Anyway, there we go. I'm going to allow this to cool off a little while longer, but I really do wish that y'all could smell this. Oh my goodness. This is so, so looking so good. We're gonna cut into this in a little while, maybe just a wee bit, a scoop, I mean a wee scoop of vanilla ice cream. And there you are. This couldn't have come out any better. I think it's cooled off enough. If not, then <laughs> I think we're gonna ju just have to wing this a little bit, but um, I have my little twidgy <laughs> scoop of ice cream here just a little bit i just wanted to taste it and i'm going to cut this really just as small as i can i'm going to try 
let's, I think, yeah, I think y'all can see. Yeah, you know, gonna have to come back this way a wee bit, but. Now, probably if you're shy about, you know, seeds and blackberries and things like that, then you may not like this. You probably, probably could substitute blackberries for blueberries if you want to and add maybe just a just a touch a shave of lemon zest that would be delicious but let's see how this is going to look and there you go oh yes it looks it's still just very slightly warm Yum. It, this really looks like it's going to be really good. I'm going to take just one taste, just one taste, and see. So, y'all will know. <laughs> Let's see. Just a, a TV taste. How about, how about that? Uh oh. <laughs> a big thumbs up. The cake itself is really, really moist. And I'm, I'm not getting a very, very strong almond, like an almond extract flavor. And that's a good thing because you don't want, you don't want to, you know, be too crazy with almond, especially almond extract. But um, I'm hoping that y'all can see, you can, you can just see a, an almond, <laughs> poking out of there and you know overall I think it's just a really great take on an upside down cake I hope that you give this recipe a try it is delicious you will absolutely love it and I always always hope that y'all join me here home at the hollow goodbye y'all